All right, boys and girls, we are back working on the 400 EX. So the last time you saw this, we went down to the Shroud, North Carolina, and we did some riding on the trails, and we had some stuff that broke. So the first thing that broke was the chain slider that goes here. The chain slider is broke. And when I went to go put the bolts or the bolt back in the chain slider, as you can see there, the head of the bolt broke off. So in this video, I'm going to be extracting or at least attempting to extract their broken off bolt. And it's actually broken off inverted so it's not even flush with the surface it is just broke off down in there it was only one in there so there's not one in the bottom but the one is broken off so since the chain slider broke i went on amazon and i bought this chain slider here it was like 11 12 dollars i'll put a link in the description below and i will let y'all know my long term review because this seems a little soft so I don't know if it's going to wear faster or with it being soft and slick if the chain is going to glide over it easier I'm not sure but it's not as rigid as the factory one that was on here so we'll see how this works out luckily it's easy enough to change if need be so with me I have my Harbor Freight titanium uh, cheap $150 on special welder gloves helmet and i will take a nut put it over top of it weld in that and then try to twist it out uh since you see that i can't i don't really have a good access point to it i'm going to take my ratchet strap and i'm going to put it around the grab bar and the axle to squat the back down this will bring the swing arm up and give me better access so let me get that done uh get it squatted down you know, Carolina squat. And now, as you can see, we have straight access to the bolt and that will make it a lot easier to hopefully extract it out of the swing going. All right. The nut has been welded on. Mm, feels rough. It's turning. That feels that feels promising. All right, I feel some tension. So I'm thinking that the welds I put on there first is kind of messing up the, oh that didn't feel again i can't tell if that's the bolt coming loose or if my wheels are breaking i think the bolt is actually coming out but i'm trying to keep as much torque off of it as possible but i'm seeing a gap behind the bolt in the subframe now so I'm thinking that it's actually coming out oh snikes get with it my first successful bolt extract now to some of y'all this ain't no biggie but I literally just bought this welder like a year ago and I've just been doing little stuff with it and i really bought it for stuff like this because otherwise i would have to ask somebody have to wait on somebody go on ebay order a 300 dollar swing use swing arm and take my bike all the way apart like this is where the harbor freight like little cheap well not cheap but second from from the cheapest TIG welder, MIG welder, what a easy flux, flux welder. This is where, for me, it comes in handy. I'm not trying to build, you know, 
a car with nothing like that. I just want to do projects like this where I don't have to wait and depend on somebody and be on somebody's time to make some stuff happen. Like it's 8 o'clock on a rainy Tuesday and I was like, let me come out here, let me spend a few minutes and try to extract this after watching a couple of YouTube videos to kind of build my confidence up and here it is I mean it is out baby and the best part is that I think I got the nut pretty much dead in the middle because you didn't even see a bunch of wobble when it was coming out so boom there it is there it is the broken bolt is out so now let me find the, the thread pitch and let me get two more actually I need to get three bolts because I need to get two bolts for the chain slide and then I need a bolt for the sprocket because I noticed this uh, while we were in Sorrel that one of my sprocket bolts is missing. For how long? Oh, sorry about that. For how long? I don't know. Maybe since I've gotten it, it was missing. But I don't know if they're the same thread pitch, the same length, but I need to get another bolt for that and I'll probably take that one out and lock tight it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go over putting the chain slide on because it's very pretty simple process. But yeah, if you need to extract a bolt, uh, Harbor Freight Titanium, and boom, it comes right on out. So I might make a little chat, a little thread chaser, get it all cleaned up. But yeah, we are good to move on and got some exciting stuff coming for the 400 one of them being my graphics from 725 designs so yeah if you ever need to extract a bolt a broken bolt that's broken under the surface that's not flush boom there it is so everything you do think build enjoy harbor freight welder for the win peace